Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> oh, this is new. This is a brand new video for us. I actually Any have... artist? Yes, indeed. I actually don't know anything about this movie. Nice. Don't know anything about the original singer. Oh, I love new but discoveries. But you guys were really adamant that we check it out since in the last video that we checked out of Senorita. Nice. That you guys were like, this has some maybe perhaps influences, but it's not so... Uh, Hispanic yeah, or Latin our, influence. Our video got blocked, so I do apologize. Um, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Boom. Yeah. I have to say, if you'd like us to react to anything or you have any requests, do make sure you put them in the pinned comment in the request thread. Make sure that also you like each other's comments and drop your comments in that thread. And uh, the comment with the most likes is the one we'll check out. Um, make sure that it does go in there. Comments outside of that thread. Uh, we, you know, we'll still look at obviously because they're very important. But just the requests, make sure they're in there, just so that uh, they don't become lost in all the other comments. And I also look forward to reading all your comments about information and stuff like that. So yeah, that's right. Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't know what to expect. It's a movie. Yeah. What an entry! That shit what the reminds hell was me of that entry? See, two guitars, and then uh, I guess that would be a harmonium, but it, 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 looks, it looks more like, like an accordion. accordion. Um, that's actually a setter that they use a lot in Mexico. No, that's true. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> What a freaking intro! And the inclusion of music in these movies is so perfectly done. Uh, we, we were watching just the movie yesterday. Uh, it was The Eternals. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's horrible. I didn't like it. The best bit of that movie, actually, is the, the, some of the references to Bollywood and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's actually and the, correct. The, I think it was his manager, the guy with the camera. Oh, yeah, he's, fantastic. He's actually my favorite character in the whole fucking thing. But oh. I wish they dwelled a little deeper into characters so I wouldn't know his name. Yeah, I actually don't know his name. I couldn't. Re I couldn't remember anyone's name. I. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the movie was garbage, basically. But uh, uh, we were just talking about that. Like in some moments, the music choices were very weak. Um, yeah, it didn't amplify anything. And it seems in one of the industries where that doesn't seem to happen very. Uh, it, maybe it happens very rarely where the choices are weak. It's Bollywood. Do let us know. I'm sure there's some bad movies. I mean, of course. Um, and we are discussing uh, which movie we're gonna watch first. Obviously, there's Rockstar that you guys would like us to watch and you say it would be an interesting beginning to sort of Bollywood and there's also is it like three three little bastards or something like that oh. or, or, or three stupid bastards I don't, I don't <laughs> sorry I, I can't remember right now I will look at the comments again <laughs> but we yeah we, we will look at those movies and then uh, maybe in a podcast it's just this week it's quite packed with, with the podcast but maybe on a future podcast we'll you know sort of ex I don't know, share our experience but anyways Absolutely. come on Oh, she's so pretty. Is she the same woman? That... She's the same woman that was fight, like, dancing with the, the light. With the light God, she's the a candle. fucking attractive woman. Yeah. She was Miss Universe or something. Yeah, she was. Whoa. I think. Or Miss India. Either way. I, I don't Either way, she I wins. Yeah, she does win a life. I mean, references. That's lots what, of influences. That's, that's Is that why perhaps comment, you guys would like? To, oh, okay. That's what the comment cool. said that he had a lot of uh, Hispanic influences, but they weren't like super prominent. No. but they were some influences. Subtly placed. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Great of it. Apologies oh. to pull, we'll pull it, pull it back. But you, you, this is something we were discussing yesterday. You see how she, those movements, they look natural. It's as if she was doing, like yeah, she actually as if it wasn't choreographed. Fuck, some of the acting yesterday was so shit. <laughs> Go on, I'm so angry at that movie, and I love Marvel. It just disappointed me. <laughs> Beautiful voice. <laughs> oh, fantastic pull, pull that back, acting! Please. That freaking.
fucking acting is brilliant. I want to know what instruments those were. Oh, the choreo is fantastic. <laughs> So th those are like that that arrangement there that that um very common obviously in Latin music um but that's why I've always asked if there's any Latin influence sort of a, a mix with it you know in the Indian music industry because I also think the other industry that does them really well that I'm obviously just getting to know is the Indian music industry with the utilization that they have with minor with, with minor percussion mm -hmm. um. I, I would love to see if if yeah if anyone live has ever done that um, where like the you know like the song Senorita or like this song performed live. So if you do have that video, do put it in the in the comment in the request thread in the pinned comment because I I'll be really interested on in seeing that live. And if they said because I've seen some of you guys so many videos of like this guy who's a very good percussionist playing tabla to la reggaeton and yeah it works of course I mean it, it like sounds nice. Um, but I, I want it in a more sort of a, yeah, a, you know, a yeah, my question, composed setting. I, my question is, it, do the songs actually get to be, get, be performed live? live? Do they because, chart? Yeah, because, yeah, they might chart, but do you tour with the songs? Like, that's my question, because it's, a, it's oh. an album, because uh, uh, I was looking at it, like, what happens with movies is that they're albums composed of several different artists, right? For For... For the movie itself, uh, so it's not it's not like you hire just one singer, one singer well, like and what, one set of musicians. Well, we seen how he did like in that uh, GIMA awards. Yeah, thing. that's right. He did a medley. Maybe a lot of them were songs that he's also he has done yeah. for movies. Yeah, so maybe that's just what they do. They they're allowed to bring them out every now and then. I would think so, but I wonder if the original compositions, like you hear them in the movie, actually do get to get performed live with a set of musicians. Or if those arrange of or, or like we have seen before, those arrangements get changed, changed. Right, right, right. and then evolved into something else. Good question. I, I would love to know. Do maybe the artists also set out their tours in a companionship with the promotional tour of the movie? Oh. Given the fact that the songs become such a big deal. No idea. <laughs> Close it too early. She's great though. Oh, piss off. Ah, I'm charmed. <laughs> oh, she's fantastic. Oh, ah. she's brilliant. Nice. You hear the, the vocalizations. The vocalizations are very flamenco like. Yeah, very flamenco. They're very uh, Andalus in in a yes. way. Um, but it's really cool though. I love the 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 dance. In she is just brilliant. I just have to Fantastic highlight actresses. how freaking wonderful. Because there's nothing harder than make choreography seem natural. Seem totally and completely part of the character itself be charmed and indulging into the whole experience of the song itself because you're experiencing the the music through these characters in it's a real world. world for for all we know that world exists and and that concept is actually highly explored in a theater in musical theater and theater compositions that then get brought into hollywood into films um but if in this you case, look Bollywood, right? what Bollywood in this case Bollywood in this case but they're, they're not musicals but yeah. in in this in this particular what I really am finding really fascinating about Bollywood itself is the the uh is the inclusion of those concepts into the actual filmmaking because I, that got lost that got maybe not in India but that got lost in the west after you know the golden years of Hollywood, where where you had you know Audrey Hepburn and stuff like that, like right after the fifties, the cinema evolved into something else and led behind 
left behind the inclusion of musicalization and choreography included into the storyline of the song uh, without having to be a musical. Itself. Well, and, it, and this goes, uh, it's accompanied obviously by the musical composition of this because it, in order to create this, you know, we have several senses in which you have to stimulate in the viewer in order to make, make them believe that a fictional world is real for however long the piece may be. So for this three minutes, four minutes, however long this this piece is, I believe that this was a real scene from right. with real people, that it's not a movie, it's not fictic fictitious, it's and, and genuine. And felt human, it felt real, and you're connecting with these characters in the small, short space of four minutes. And the way you achieve that, it's, it's, you know, obviously through auditory stimulation, you must tell a story both auditory and then also visually. So beautifully interlinked with the choreography. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. And musically, wise, I mean, like, that, 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 that adding of those uh, sort of flamenco influenced vocals mm -hmm. in with an intro which is oddly oddly hispanic but, but truly again, indian that's right in terms of I, I i like if i was to hear that and and even that now that i'm still trying to let the ideas of indian classical music mar marinate and the ideas of southern uh, uh, music uh, from india and all the different you know languages and influences and instruments all of that needs time to marinate. It's only it's only natural, but it's still recognizable. And 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 even for someone like me, who's you know still very ignorant and very new in this, I can I can piece somewhat a picture, mm -hmm. and it's not too convoluted. Um, but it can only become clearer as time progresses. But it's still enjoyable now. And it doesn't take away from the connecting part to the characters, which yeah, is yeah. which is a highlight because it's a film. Yep. And and I, I don't we don't know anything about these characters and we're, I'm highly but I'm invested. getting to know them somehow right. through this highly invested. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> well, I fucking wish the boss I go to turn into this. Oh my god, yeah. Is it Shreya singing? I don't think Who's so. Who's the singer? I don't. I don't really know. It's it's completely new. The whole, uh, the whole set of of m music here. Uh, her name is song by Shail Hada, and um. Sunid Sunidi or Sunidhi, Chauhan. Cool. Oh, I see. So yeah, brand new names. Overall, Very nice. Oh, okay. the board, yeah, that's just brand new. <laughs> So she shocked, said though. vamos. Was, put it back. I think she said vamos. Vamos. Listen, listen. Vamos. Maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, it's, maybe it's a word. It Gorgeous. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she's so great. Also, let's take How to it. find beauty with also charm and personality without it trying to, you know... Without being a gimmick. And without breaking this, you know, the, the allure of beauty. Because beauty does have its prerequisites. You can't have a, you know, Mr. Funny Guy be considered beautiful. Unfortunately, this sort of... Yeah, it, you know, in a psyche of... doesn't function. So it's hard to find someone that can play to these. Um, Which is really charming well. and light-hearted and yet super mysterious and enchanting at the same time. Also real, right? Is that not everyone is fucking perfect. That's right. From every angle, it doesn't matter how good looking you are. Yeah, or but from every sort of in every scenario. I also would love to appreciate the beauty of the lighting and the set. It's absolutely fantastic. These videos are very difficult not to. Uh, indulge in every each detail because hmm. they're so rich. Well, it's hard to break down a song when the video is so, it's not so par. It's actually, to a certain extent, it's one of the highlights of the whole thing. The video mm -hmm. makes the song better somehow. It's, it's very strange what they're able to achieve. It's great. Contagious. <laughs> Which is 
Did you hear those very Spanish yeah, like influences, influences, there, yeah. influences they the guitar? They also have the uh, what do you call castañas? Those? Cast- I mean, they're kind of castañas, but they're more like they're more like uh, what do you call those things? Tam- not tambourines. Is it tambourines? It's like a weird mix between tambourines and castañas. They're using. Uh, what you're hearing is castañas, though. No, that the 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 last uh, ring That's not castañas. Oh, okay. That the frequency is too high. Oh. You can't make castañas sound like. Uh, they sound like wood clapping. No, no. Turn back. Turn back. Listen to this. Those can be castañas. That's fine. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you see what I mean? See, and the and the elation in the bar, like everybody, uh, then People you know, felt coming that for together. Real. Seems like a completely natural progression of things, and it didn't feel rushed. It didn't feel like it was meant to be this way. Uh, and when you are part of a production, you know there's a storyboard. You know everything. It's cute to perfection. Uh-huh. But uh, when you see the final product and you're ab- observing it from you know the first time as as a part of the audience, the progression of the elation and how everybody co- contagiously, uh, you know, feels like the atmosphere is right in, in order to stand up and dance themselves is natural. And it, it doesn't feel rushed. It doesn't feel overdone. It's excellent. It's fantastic. It's, it's an excellent video. And it, it, it goes beyond the acting. It's it's fantastically well directed. Yeah. The camera angles are brilliant. Yeah, I mean, sound, sound production and the, the, the huge attention to... Yeah, I, I guess we, we were discussing that before, but like, uh, yeah, the arrangements and the, the, what the hell is the word for adornos? Oh, um, ornaments. Ornaments and through instrumentalization, not mm-hmm. just vocally. It's just so layered. Ah, it's, it's so beautifully very layered. very deep. It's yes. very, very thick. You could just have twenty minute conversation just on the, uh, on the composition of the song itself and how many layers you can hear. But it's hard to do that when there's so much going on. Absolutely. Oh, I love this. And you see, I feel con- emotionally connected. That's a good actor, right? Here. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. Oh. And you know what? So maybe I she was feel showing emotionally him, connected. So maybe she was vicariously showing him what, what, yeah, how to, you know, to, to, to enjoy such moment. Now I want to watch the movie. That was an absolutely that's a beautiful, beautiful scene, scene, dude. Yeah, that's a absolutely beautiful scene. Absolutely stunning scene. And that, that's a beautiful song. Lyrics. I am invested. The gorgeousness of every detail. Just so really well directed and this shot where he gets emotional so beautiful because he feels so candid so i think it, uh, it, this the movie is called guzarish uh-huh guzarish and uh i think they're in love those two uh, uh, oh. i think it's gonna be a very sad movie i think so it oh. has potential to do that but it goes like this should, i already feel mushy just watching the music video should the regret be there or should it stop i can't understand a thing I've melted in the sky today. I've come afar from the world. What? 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 What has this? <laughs> what has happened? Perhaps. I've melted in the sky today. I've come afar from this world. What's? What has happened? Slept has flown away from my eyes. Or sleep. The night got attached to the dreams. I don't know where I have turned to in my path. Slept has flown away from my eyes. The night's got attached to the dreams. I don't know where I have turned in my path. I've melted. So the, this kind of repeats itself, and then it goes. Are my feet on earth or on the clouds? The stars have come and entangled themselves in my veil. Are my feet on earth or on the clouds? The stars have come and entangled themselves in my veil. I've lived my whole life in this moment. There's nothing remaining for my future. Slept has flown away from my eyes. It goes on to repeat itself twice. And yeah, that, that, that's the whole lyrics. So it's, yeah, again, it's, it, it's this like is a, a common theme, it seems, of 
more like a mantra, like lyrics. Or it, it's like I, I believe in this in this particular uh, uh, case, given the cinematography of it all. Um, it's more like a questioning of when you're so elated, when you're really enjoying the moment, mm -hmm. where has reality and dreamlike worlds drawn a line? It's completely blurred. You know, when you're enjoying yourself so much that things become a bit like surreal. Mm. You know, like when the night has been so good and you're walking home at four o'clock in the morning and the sun is rising and everything in that perfect moment feels surreal. Right. It's like uh, that that's or I don't know that there's yeah, like a whole there's like a whole thread in TikTok. You can go there. They'll tell you exactly what I'm trying to say um, about how things that feel surreal, but they're actually reality. It's like, you know. <laughs> what? But if if it feels unreal, it doesn't question its reality. No, it does. How? No, because it doesn't feel real. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, it but it's still feel... real. Does it make sense though? What? So if it feels unreal, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, it may have that feeling. Yes. But it's of course is real. Of course, yes, it's undeniable. I understand, but. It's it's that is in art expressed like this. <laughs> okay, yeah. It, it's where the dreamlike world and reality blur Emerge. the line. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. There's no line there to be seen. Maybe more, perhaps a better description would be a dream, when it when you don't recognize whether a dream whether you're sleeping. Yeah. Okay. That's more of a merge of realities, right? Of consciousness. I suppose. Because if you're fully conscious, yeah. whatever you're experiencing, regardless of what it may feel, it's genuinely real. But yes. in a dream, you don't know. And I guess that opens up the conversation of whether you actually, what you dream, it's perhaps real in some other manner. Mm, fair enough. Yeah. But I, I, I think it's a, there, there's a whole, it, there's a beautiful way of ex, of exploring that yeah, elated yeah. feeling here, especially in this scene. It was... It was very, it was very beautiful. I think, I think, candid and very emotional. I think he, he was living vicariously through her, and then yeah, all the emotions that he's feeling, he can't believe someone can feel this good. And, and I don't, he's feeling I think good he's feeling through good. her. Exactly. Yeah. I think, I, I don't think it was more of a. Yeah, he was feeling what she felt too. Exactly. And I think vicariously, that, yeah, he's living through her. Yeah, it, it's, it's beautiful. So oh, let well. us know what you thought about it, guys, and uh, yeah, goodbye.